What's going on everyone, it's your rifle here. In today's video I'm going to be covering the last part on the raid, the final fight. A lot of people have a lot of problems with Crota, and in my honest opinion, if you do this strategy, Crota is simple. But that's just my honest opinion. Sometimes strategies don't work for others, and sometimes certain parts can be a pain in the ass. But alright, to get this started, you want to be over here on the far left side of the building when the fight begins. And by left, I'm talking about when you first enter this area and you're looking straight at Crota it'll be on the left side you're gonna to have to be taking out some monsters when you first stand on this center platform when your whole squad is standing on the center platform you want to try to divide up into threes by the way have three people on one side and three people on the other side left side and the right side but anyways once your whole squad is on this center platform Crota will spawn and barriers will surround you and behind those barriers will come enemies these enemies will be kind of difficult, but your goal is to get through them as fast as you can so you can get this started as fast as you can. The earlier you get started, the more damage you'll be able to get on Crota. You can either go left or you can either go right. Normally, the person that is sniping on the team will go left. The reason why is because the setup is over here, and that person needs to go over here to snipe the boomers. That's what I like to call them. These are the knights that rain down fire, and they do some heavy damage, so... It is the sniper's job to be worrying about these. Since the sniper has impact, it takes out knights extremely fast and it staggers the knights as well. And not to mention, there will be ogres, and I'll be showing you how to get it past those too, and snipers are very handy as well. But anyways, another reason why you have to take out the boomers is because it protects the relic holder. The person with the relic won't be very protected and won't really be able to hide if the boomers are alive. And the relic holder is the most important job and fighting Crota. The reason why is because it's the only way to kill Crota. So you're going to be having to protect the Relic Holder. So think of the Relic Holder when you are taking out enemies. And the only way to get this Relic, the Sword, you're going to have to kill the Sword Holder, which is a very aggressive and strong knight. And this knight can be sneaky sometimes, and you want to try to kill this knight that holds the sword as fast as you can. Get your squad on this knight as fast as you can. And make sure the snipers are still worrying about the boomers. It is nice to have two snipers on the squad just because if you have two snipers, well you have two shots firing and it can take out the knights extremely fast without them even pulling up their shields. And also if your squad does take damage, just swap the chalice from one another. That'll help heal you guys. That's another thing. Your shield does not recharge here. And if you do die, well you have a certain time limit to destroy what is behind Crota. And if you don't destroy it in time, well, then it explodes and you all just wipe. So it's best just to keep the whole squad alive. But if someone does die, you still are able to beat it. Now, as for hard mode goes, I'm not so sure that's going to be quite the case. You're going to probably want to do this in a perfect run. So try to get down the strategy. But anyways, fighting on this staircase is actually a very safe area. Make sure your squad is taking out all the thrall and worrying about the sword holder. Once the sword holder finally gets taken out, the sword will spawn. Now this is the job for the relic holder, the person on the squad with the relic holder. Preferably not the guy that has the Galahorn and is also carrying the relic, and is also not level 30. The sword holder preferably should be 31 or higher, just because that person holding the relic will be able to kill Crota faster than say a level 30 holding the relic. And the sword bearer will spawn in the center of the map at the very beginning. That's how you're going to pick up the relic. You want someone that doesn't have the best weapons or just someone who is skillful with the relic, but make sure the person that's skillful with the relic, once again, doesn't have a good weapon to help take down Crota. You also want to be creating orbs of light around in this area right here, just because the person with the sword will be able to pick up the orbs of light and will be able to do more damage to Crota. You don't want to be making the orbs of light spot on the staircase because the relic holder really doesn't have time to go up to the staircase to get the orbs of light. So it's just a side thing to try to do and help out. But anyways, once the relic holder gets the sword, that person then wants to go over to these rocks over here. This is the best spot to just jump up and attack Crota. And you're going to have to be listening to your squad's callouts. When your squad says Crota's shield is at 25%, the sword holder should be starting to run after Crota. You want to start trying to get some early swings as soon as that shield gets down. That's the only way 
to hurt Crota. You have to take down Crota's shields first. So your squad should be calling out Crota's at 75% right now. Crota's at 50% right now. Crota's just got below 50% right now. Crota's getting 25%. Go, go, Relicor, go. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. You guys should be in the game. That's how you can get Crota down fast. And when the snipers are sniping, they need to be worrying about the boomers as well. Because right when Crota regens its shield, there will be boomers up on the second level again. And the snipers want to make sure they take out those boomers. Because that is what gets the squad killed very fast. And if Crota starts heading to the right, this is when it can get even more trickier. Now you can't kind of just pop out and start attacking Crota. Because Crota is no longer in the middle of the bridge section. So it actually works out best to pick up the sword if Crota is around in the center area. The only reason why I say that is because it helps play the fight a lot safer. As you can see, Crota is in the center section right now, but he heads over to the right. And this area, you don't really want to mess with Crota too much, just because the Relic Holder is going to be an open target. I mean, you can still beat him just fine with him over there, but it's best to try to wait for him to get into the center again. But anyways, once you've had two rounds with the Relic, Ogres are going to start to come. This is when you're going to want to change up the strategy. It's not going to get too confusing now, guys. So don't be like, whoa, now this raid's extremely confusing. Because it's not. It's not. This next part is actually, it, it plays it extremely safe. You run down here into the bottom center of the map. And you want to run down into this long hallway. Back in this long hallway, the ogres cannot actually reach you if you're all the way back in this room. And you can sit here and snipe them from here as well. Because they will pop their little pretty heads out coming from the left side and right side. And this area is going to be the next setup for the squad. So make sure to use your synthesis here. High impact weapons are great for fighting ogres because it staggers them. Once your squad has taken out the ogres, you then want to push up out of this narrow hallway. And you want to stop right before the exit. Because outside could be Crota waiting for you. And Crota will kill you fast. So be precautious when taking a step back outside. But the main point now is try to find the sword holder again. And try to hold off until Crota is back into the center section. Because if Crota is in the center section, that's how you guys will do a whole bunch of damage to Crota. Because not only is it easier for the sword holder, it'll be easier for you guys to shoot Crota. Because you have walls blocking your left and right side. So your sights are narrowed at this setup. If Crota happens to go over to the right side, you want to run up to the left staircase area setup. But if Crota is outside waiting for you, you can go up against the wall that Crota is at and you'll be safe from him. Speaking of going up against the wall, you want to go up against the wall to take out the boomers. Remember, as a sniper, your job is to still take out these boomers for the relic holder. Because the boomers can take out the relic holder easy because the relic holder is an open target up there attacking Crota. So once again, make sure to be going up against these walls on the courtyard to snipe out the boomers. But yeah guys, that's about it for fighting Crota. Once you finally get the sword holder down, you all want to focus on Crota once again. And let the sword holder know when Crota's shield is about to go down. Just so the sword holder can pop up and take out Crota quickly. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Crota guide. I tried to explain it as best as I could. I tried to throw in as much detail as I could on this strategy. And hopefully you guys get this strategy down packed. And as you guys see, for my first time beating Crota, I got this Song of Uryut. And it's a LMG freaking machine gun. And it destroys knights. Like it shoots through the knight's shields. So that's awesome. And I think a lot of the Crota's in raid weapons actually allow you to do that. And not to mention it looks freaking badass too. Look at it. I mean, it looks crazy. And also I got a shader as well. And I'll share that with you guys as well. Check it out. It looks freaking awesome. It's actually one of my favorite shaders now. And I got two radiant shards. And, and I got an emblem. This is the new raid emblem, and it looks freaking sweet. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, guys. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If the video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It's much appreciated. It helps the video out a lot. But I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. The recommended level to start the new raid. Well, you could do the beginning at level 29, but I do not recommend to try to get through the raid at level 29. I recommend starting.